In this video, I'll go over setting up Uptime Kuma on a Synology NAS using Container Manager. If you're new to Uptime Kuma, it is a self-hosted monitoring tool that is easy to use and configure and allows you to monitor the health or uptime of various services. For this video, I'll be setting up Uptime Kuma to monitor my digital Aloha website configure monitoring for a Docker container that is running on the same host that I'll be setting Uptime Kuma on, and set up DNS monitoring to make sure a local PyHole container is resolving host names properly. Before getting started, the first thing to do is check to make sure Container Manager is installed. If it isn't, you'll want to install Container Manager from the Package Center. In my case, I've already installed Container Manager and I also have a few projects and containers running as well. Let's get started setting up Uptime Kuma, but before continuing with Container Manager, I'll bring up FileStation and create an Uptime Kuma folder under the Docker shared folder that will be used to store persistent data for the project. Now I'll switch back over to Container Manager, select Project, and click Create to start up the Create Project wizard. Here, I'll give the project the name, Set the path to the Uptime Kuma folder that was just created. For source, I'll select Create Docker Compose YAML, and I'll paste in this Docker Compose YAML configuration that I'll also include in the description below. In your configuration, make sure to set the Uptime Kuma volume to the path that you created if yours is different from mine. Also, under Volumes, the docker.socks listing allows Uptime Kuma to communicate with the local Docker daemon, which will allow Uptime Kuma to monitor local Docker containers. This may or may not be needed in your setup, so I just wanted to point that out. Lastly, I'll be setting up my Uptime Kuma to use the default bridge network because that's the network I've set up my PyHole container on and the reason why I've included the network mode bridge line at the bottom of the config. I'll continue with the setup and click Next. Then Next once again on this Web Portal Settings window. And finally, I'll click Done on this Summary window to complete the setup. While the project is being built, just a reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and consider turning on all notifications if you like this type of content. Let's continue with the setup, and once the container and project start up successfully, I'll bring up another browser window and enter in the IP address of my Synology NAS and port number 3001 to bring up the Uptime Kuma web UI. Now I'll create an admin account. And once that is set up, I'm automatically redirected to the Uptime Kuma dashboard. At this point, I'll start creating monitors and I'll start with monitoring my digital Aloha website. To do this, I'll select Add New Monitor, which brings up the Add New Monitor section. The monitor type is HTTP or HTTPS, so I'll leave that as is. I'll enter in a friendly name, then enter in my website's URL. I'll leave everything else as is and click Save. Now the monitor is running, and it's finding that my website is up and running. Next, I'd like to set up a monitor for the transmission OpenVPN container that I'm running on the same Synology NAS as Uptime Kuma. To do this, I'll select Add Monitor, change the monitor type to Docker Container, then enter in a friendly name. Next, I'll need the container name or ID of the transmission OpenVPN container, so I'll switch over to Container Manager and select Container. I'll then select the transmission OpenVPN container and if I scroll to the bottom of the general listing, I'll find the container name that I need. I'll then switch back to Uptime Kuma and enter in the container name in the box that's provided. Next, for Docker host, I'll click on the plus sign to add a host. Then from the setup Docker host window that pops up, I'll enter in a friendly name. I'll leave the connection type and Docker daemon listing as is, then click test. The connection was successful, so I'll click Save. Then I'll click Save once again to add the transmission OpenVPN monitor. 
the status displays that the transmission OpenVPN container is up, so I'll continue with the last monitor I want to add, which is a PyHole monitor to make sure that it is resolving DNS host names properly. I'll again click Add New Monitor, and I'll select DNS as the monitor type. I'll give the monitor a friendly name. For hostname, I'll enter in youtube.com, which will be the DNS hostname that I'd like to resolve. And for resolver server, I'll enter in the bridge network IP address that is assigned to the PyHole container. I can find this by bringing up Container Manager once again, select the container listing, then bring up the details for the PyHole container. Under General, the IP address listed in the Bridge Network section is what I need. Now, back in Uptime Kuma, I'll enter in the Bridge IP address for the Resolver server and click Save. The status shows as being up, so PyHole is resolving DNS hostnames properly. The next thing I'd like to do is set up an email alert to notify me if a monitor returns a down status. I'll do this by bringing up one of the monitors, so I'll select the website monitor, click Edit, then click Set up Notification. I'll select Email SMTP for the notification type. Enter in a friendly name for the alert. Then set up the SMTP mail server by entering in the details for the mail server I'd like to use. I'll also enter the from email address. The email address I would like to send the notification to. And I'll toggle on the apply on all existing monitor switch to enable email notifications for all the monitors that were created. Next, I'll click test to make sure the settings I entered are correct. And it looks like it is because the email was sent successfully. So I'll click save to complete the notification setup. I can also confirm that I received the test email in my email client as well. Now I'll test to make sure that notifications work by logging into the server that hosts my website and shut down the web server. Then back in Uptime Kuma, we can see that my website is now listed as being down. And if I check my email, I can see the notification that the website is down as well. Now I'll re-enable the web server to get it up and running again. Then switch back to Uptime Kuma where we can see the website monitor is once again displaying a status of up. I also received an email notification that the website is back up as well. Hopefully this helps you get started with Uptime Kuma and make sure to check out the documentation that the Uptime Kuma project provides for additional setup and alerting options, which I'll link to in the description below. Also, check out this video, which describes one of the alerting options you can use as well. Lastly, if you would like to support my work, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.